We are going to have a little bit of a field trip. Um, I got the question about office setup and decoration and where to put clocks and these kinds of things. So I'm going to just show you my therapy space. For those of you who get motion sickness, I'm going to do my best to not be wobbly. We're going to give this a quick, a quick jaunt. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the therapy space because this is the space that's most relevant, I guess. Um, so the question about clocks, I have one, <laughs> this is really hard to do backwards. I have one over here beside that lamp, that like hangy thing in between the lamp and the boxes. And then, sorry to make you dizzy, I have one down here as well. So I sit in this white seat. Hi seat, here's my therapy couch. So sorry for nausea. Um, and so that way we can both see them, um, right? Like it's to the left, it's to the right. We both have eyes on it. Um, I also wear a watch and I have it programmed to vibrate at, I think it was up at 50 past the hour. And that way I have time to kind of wrap up real quick. Now this little area over here, loop, loop, loop. Um, this, if I get out of this, there we go. This is my, Groom area, family area, one of my employees does family-based treatment, and so she needs a space that families can fit, and there are lots of options for how close they want to be to each other, how far they want to be from each other. And then we have this kind of big blank space. Part of FBT is sometimes setting up um, meals, and so we can fit a big table and chairs in here if we need to. We have all sorts of things kind of hiding behind these big couches, uh, fold-up tables, a scale for the clients that might need to be weighed, which we don't do with our adult clients, but it's a part of FBT. And then I've got the required bookcase um, that it feels, it's not actually required, it just feels like it. And then my desk where I actually spend most of my time. Um, oh, and my little tea area over there. This is a huge office and it's totally unnecessary when you're starting out. I mean, honestly, it's not totally necessary for me now, but I sure love it. Um, if you were starting a private practice right now, all you really need is two chairs and a clock. That's all you really need. Um, and some noise stuff, like a noise machine. Um, so I wanna be clear that you don't need all of this, but this is kind of what I've worked my way up to over the years. And I've been in practice, I think 14 years, a long time. Um, initially, it was basically two chairs and a clock. So, um, that answers, I've just kind of got a slew of questions lately about like, where do you put your clocks? And um, like, do you have a table in between your chair and theirs? And this is gonna be informed by your modality too, but I just wanted to give you guys a little tour. And um, I wanna shout out Hilly Tree Design who designed the space for me. Um, I got into a position where I liked my office better than my house, so then we invited her to our house and she did our living room and now I like being there. So um, yeah. I will talk with you guys later and check out Hilly Tree Design for some really good ideas. She has some great Pinterest boards and she helps therapists all over the country. She's got a crazy waiting list, but it's an option. Okay, bye.